Thanks for sticking around. Thank you. So anyway, you guys want to hear my story about my hero? Yeah. Yeah, Buzz. That's what we want. Yeah. Why'd you even bring that guitar? We just want to hear stupid stories. That's it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to let you decide which hero I'm going to pick, okay? Yeah. Now, I've already decided, but I'm going to pretend like I let you decide, okay? <laughs> so over here, we have Iggy Pop! Come on! And over here we have Mike Patton. Uh, let me see, Iggy, Mike, which is it? Uh, Mike, Mike, Mike. Iggy Pop. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'll disagree. <laughs> Whatever you said is great. I agree, no matter what. You said, but this is cool, right? I agree. <laughs> anyway, Iggy Pop's one of my all-time heroes. You guys like Iggy Pop, right? Yeah, we do. You better believe it. And uh, I think that I'm a better person because I like Iggy Pop. Can you believe that? He's actually made me a better person. As a result of me liking and loving everything he does. Okay. Now, understand that this takes place before the Stooges reformed. Okay? Before. So it was when he was doing his solo band, one of his solo bands, and I was on tour with my other band, Santa Moss. And we were playing in France. At a festival. Somewhere in France, I don't know where. Some countryside somewhere. Yeah, it was there. You're right. Oh, you were there, that's right. I remember you. We ate a hamburger, we walked around, it was great. And uh, um, so Iggy Pop's band was playing at this festival in front of 40,000 people, headlining. Santa Moss was playing on a smaller stage in front of a lot less people. Okay? <laughs> now, which is fine, whatever, I don't care about that. But, um, I got there and I realized the schedule, the schedule said that if Santa Moss finished their set fast enough, I could race over to the main stage and see Iggy play. Yeah! So, we played, I packed up myself as fast as I could. I raced over to the main stage. I had my backstage pass. I could go right up on the big giant main stage. Right up on it. Right up on the side, it's huge. Raced over there, raced over there. Ran up on the stage, I'm on the side of the stage. And the band that's playing just before Iggy is still playing. I'm in plenty of time. And I'm standing there, oh great, this is made it, I made it, I made it. I realized Iggy's standing right there. Shit. I, and I, I don't want I don't want to look at him like this. Wow. So instead I stand because I'm cool. I'm cool. So instead I stand there like this. I, I'm looking over here, but look at him. He's right there. Right fucking there. He really is only five foot one. Son of a bitch. Look how cool he looks. And I notice that he's watching the band that's playing too. He's watching him. Except he's not going like this. He's going like this. <laughs> he's getting madder and madder as he watches this band. And that band was Weezer. Now, I'm vaguely aware of Weezer. I don't know much about him, really. I know that they have a song about a crack pipe or something. I don't really know much about Weezer. It's true, it's true. No, it's not odds, I don't know. I mean, there's lots of stuff you don't know, right? No, probably not. 
<laughs> we'll make a list. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, they get finished. Iggy leaves the stage, or uh, Weezer leaves the stage. Iggy gets the stage, it's great. They're playing solo stuff, they're playing Stooges songs, it's fucking amazing. I, I, I feel like I can learn something every time I watch a guy like that. Anything he wants to do is okay by me. It's okay because I'm a huge fan and I was just happy to be there, excited, watching him play. Okay. So 20 minutes into the set, between songs, 40,000 people there. Iggy walks up to the microphone between songs and says to the audience, What'd you guys think of Weezer? <laughs> Everybody, woo Iggy just freaks out! Ah! Grabs the microphone, screams, Fuck this shit! Slams the microphone on the stage! Runs off the stage! Right over by me! I'm standing next to his road manager. He runs right up to the road manager, right here, and screams in his face, What the fuck kind of shit are you booking me into? End of the show. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. Why would that be amazing to me? Why? Because he won't even play in front of an audience that likes Weezer. Yeah, let's hear it for Iggy. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. We'll see you in a minute.